Hey guys, this is Daniel with Dragonmore Gaming and giving you the Blue Mage farming guide for Fist of the Father. Uh, this will be for, especially for the uh, Moogle Tombstone events and trying to get uh, as many tombstones as possible as quickly as possible. So, just wanted to run you quickly through if you hadn't done it since, you know, or, you know, for years or had never done it before, or especially never done it as Blue Mage, here's just everything you need to know. So, the first thing is that this is a two part. Uh, raid so there's a the first kind of mini boss is Faust and he's kind of like back in the day he was kind of the just the DPS check so uh, really this the key here is to just you know use your moon flute and burst this guy down as much as you can uh, you can see we had even one person blow their final sting on this I'd recommend saving it for the bigger boss that comes right after so so definitely you can use some of your cooldowns there, uh, you know, just to blow up the Faust as quickly as you can. Uh, but all your big cooldowns I do like to save for this guy, for the Oppressor. So you can see the uh, the first set of this, uh, he does have quite a bit of hit points. You can't just blast him like maybe some of the other events like <laughs> ADS where everybody just final stings immediately. So he does have a few more hit points. So you're going to have to actually DPS him with your abilities. Uh, you know, first and foremost. So, really good abilities I like to have for this are things like uh, Phantom Flurry. Uh, I do like, yeah, of course, Moon Flute, and I do like, you know, some sort of a dot. Uh, either Song of Torment and or Night Bloom work really well because the the boss will live for a little while. So you can see we put a lot of dots on him. Uh, having the uh, the Garuda, uh, you know, dot as well really helps. I do like the. Uh, the Ravana, the Saparna, I think is how you pronounce it. And then, as you can see, we just uh, we get to the point where we just nuke him down with the uh, <laughs> with the final sting. So once the boss gets down pretty low, you're going to want to do your final sting combo, and this is where yeah you want, of course, Moon Flute is very helpful for that huge damage bonus. Whistle if you're doing the final sting, because Whistle will definitely hugely increase the amount of damage the final sting does. So Moon Flute, Whistle, and then Final Sting. Uh, and you'll see it does, uh, so if going from 20% down to about 8% uh, just from that one hit. So when you're doing Oppressor, uh, if you remember, uh, just to remind, uh, when you beat this boss, or when you're trying to kill this boss, once he gets down to a certain percentage, he summons like a copy of himself, you see. And you'll have to be able to beat both uh, before they uh, before they blow up before they self detonate, so the key is to get them down as low as possible and you know kill them of course before they blow up obviously. But the second one spawns with you know roughly the same amount of health as the first one does when he comes out. So I like to have you know one person try to at least final sting before the second one comes out just to make sure his hit points is lower. But you know you want to kind of play chicken with it a little bit and. You know, wait as long as possible so you have plenty of uptime to continue damaging the boss. Because if you final sting too early, we did have a run where we ended up not being able to final sting down both of them. Because uh, the, uh, yeah, either final stinging too early and not having the damage to finish both of them, or, uh, or you final sting too late and, uh, and they still have too many hit points. But that's usually a bit easier to deal with because you have. Again, as soon, hopefully somebody doesn't waste their final sting on the first guy. But uh, but yeah, doing your final sting, doing one of them on the first oppressor as late as possible does help with a little bit faster speed. But really waiting until both of the oppressors are out, and then you have different people using final sting on you know the two different oppressors to burst them down. And by that, you'll be done in just two minutes. And so really, and you get the two tombstones for it. So you do get one tombstone a minute. That's how quick this uh, this farming method is. So okay, maybe not as fast as some of the previous events, but this is definitely the fastest for this event for the uh, Mendacity. Uh, if you're doing this spring 2023, this will definitely be the fastest way to get the tombstones this time. So guys, hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any other strategies that have been really helpful for getting this boss down, or if there's anything that you found is even faster. Please let me know. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.